What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This video is more or less about the EPA and them wanting to ban race cars. And the problem with that is the fact that a lot of race cars were once street cars like this car right behind me. And the problem with that is a lot of aftermarket parts will soon, you know, kind of just go downhill and not exist anymore because they'll no longer legally be allowed to sell parts that affect the emissions equipment. So even though I can have a catalytic converter on this car and run clean and be compliant in the sense of how the car runs, if it's clean or not clean, um, that will be considered illegal and I won't be able to buy that. So the car is on a standalone EMS and that's considered illegal if this law goes through. Um, everything I'm doing makes me a criminal with my cars if this law goes through, which is completely stupid. And um, it's not right and it's it's definitely not right in the sense that this car was built years ago and it's had these modifications on it for a long time. So you're just gonna wake up one day and say, hey, you know what, I wanna make that guy's car uh, not complying and I want to make it so that he can no longer drive his car and that if he gets caught he gets fined or that the person that sold him these parts however long ago also gets fined because he sold him off-road parts. Well, just because somebody sold me something doesn't mean they're responsible for what I do with it. And if I built my car and it's legal to my state standards, that should be how it works. But in this case, it's not. It's going to be a federal law. So it doesn't matter if you're in Florida or Texas, this still applies to you. Um, as far as you not building a race car, say you're not trying to build a race car, you're just trying to build a street car, like I said, you can't get these parts to make your street car act or run properly with the modifications you have done to it. And by modifications, I mean exhaust, superchargers, turbos, anything like that will be considered illegal and you can't mess with that stuff. So eventually you won't be able to buy those parts for your car because it will also be illegal to sell those parts because there's no market for race only cars. There's no off-road use only labels that you can use anymore. So that will be illegal to sell to anybody. So no more turbos, no more fuel systems, no more you know, exhaust systems, no more intakes because all this stuff will be considered illegal. And regardless if you were building a race car or street car, you can't put this on, on anything. So that's why it affects us. And it's kind of sad because not only do cars offer you know, a place of peace for people like me, uh, they can be stressful, but they also offer a real big place of peace, and it's what I do. And the car culture, to me, as a car enthusiast, is amazing, and I love cars, and I love the people that I've met from cars. Uh, my life would be completely different without cars, and, you know, this is just one thing that I think will hurt the economy pretty good, just because it's a $2 billion industry, and you, they are not only taking away people's passion, they're taking away people's jobs at this point, or they're threatening to take away people's jobs. Um, as far as, like I said, as far as the economy goes, with it being a $2 billion industry, you're talking about welders, fabricators, tuners, IT jobs, web marketing, sales marketing, stuff like that. I mean, all that's going to change. It's going to be tons of people without work in a time that we need jobs the most. And I just don't understand why you would want to risk that. Uh, maybe in a sense of trying to push electric cars, because I can't think you're only going after clean air when some of these cars run more efficient and cleaner with certain fuels than an original factory equipment car. So if your real goal was clean air, why don't you just stick with your typical, you know, state emissions inspection, maybe make sure the cars have proper catalytic converters and stuff like that for street cars, and then still let people do what their off-road cars do, you know, on another level, let them do what they want. But they're trying to get away from that and they're trying to control that because there's just been so many loopholes and people have just been finding ways to get around it. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't think they're ever going to come after the specific individual, but being a specific individual, I think it, the parts will be harder for us to buy. Not necessarily for us to keep our cars, but for us to buy the parts. So, you know, it's up in the air still how it'll happen. There's, there's a big gray area. There's no clarity to it. They, at one point they did try to say that, you know, that they, that NASCAR will be fine and they're not going to take that away. And I'm just like, bro, NASCAR? Who built a NASCAR? Did you build a NASCAR? I didn't build a NASCAR. This this ain't a NASCAR. How does NASCAR help me? NASCAR is a dying breed, and I'm sorry if you love NASCAR, but I don't really know anybody who gives a about NASCAR. So, and NASCAR, like I said, it's, it's they are not street cars turned into race cars. I can't afford to build a NASCAR. Majority of people probably can't afford to build a NASCAR. And even if we, even if we could, I'm about five minutes down the road from Dover Downs. I can't just build one and roll up there and be like, hey, okay, guys, where do I register to race for today? Like, no, that, that's not going to happen. They're not just going to let me race. So NASCAR is just completely irrelevant. Like, I don't know why you would even bring that up. To me, that just shows ignorance to the, you know, to the situation at hand. And I feel like they're just, you know, overreaching 
And I think we need to kind of get a hand of it, put our feet down and let them know how strongly we feel about this. And the more people, the better. I think we have about 100,000 people or more that have already signed a petition. So the more people we get, the better. So I'm gonna leave a link in the bottom that just pretty much takes you directly to the petition where you can sign it, it'll look like this. So if this is me clicking on Google and just going to RPM Act on Google and it takes you to the SEMA website. You'll see it has a link right here. It pretty much gives you a brief description of what the RPM Act is. And then you can go ahead and fill this rest of this information out. You don't need to type the message body yourself. Luckily, it does already have a nice clean message in there. So you don't screw it up by, you know, getting emotional about it. But just go ahead and like I said, fill out your information, turn that in, and hopefully, you know, it'll send a message across that there are so many people that feel so strongly about this that, you know, this needs to be revisited in a way that's fair to all of us, not just one-sided, the way it's starting to be. Because the way it's looking, it's not looking good. Like I said, I don't think they could ever attack the individual or take their car, but you never know because you give somebody an inch, they take a mile, and the more the more that these people get, the more they're gonna try to take. So I really think we need to come together as a car community, ignore our differences, regardless of what we drive, what we do, what kind of racing we do, or even if you just like stance in your car and just cruising around, you're still part of the car community. We're all still a big car community. Um, so we need to come together. The automotive industry just seems to be bigger now than ever. So I know we have more people now than ever to stand up and, you know, make sure that this doesn't go through. So like I said, we just need to get our voices out there. I'm just trying to do my part to get the message across because in 2015, I had no clue that this had happened. And like four days ago, maybe three days ago was when I started hearing about this. So uh, I did get kind of nervous and I'm like, man, this is not the future I want. So I definitely want to do my part. And I'm going to continue to post about it and talk about it and try to get the message across so we can do what we can to keep, to keep the motorsports industry alive and uh, be able to continue to buy parts in the future. You know, I don't want this to end. So I hope you don't either. This video helped you. If it brought some awareness, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, for any other car content, please definitely subscribe for that too. Take care, guys.